This is a short video about potato fruit. That's right, the fruit from a potato. What's a potato fruit? Well, I'm going to show you. And we're not talking about tomatoes, although potatoes and tomatoes are in the same general family of plants. So they have leaves that look very similar. This is a, these are leaves from a potato, so spuds. Uh, and the fruit actually also looks very similar. I've included here a nickel and a penny just to give some uh, reference as far as the size of these. Uh, and you can see here I've cut a couple of them open. Uh, a couple that were green, uh, one here that was green and one here that was ripe. Here's a ripe one here. Uh, these are um, the fruit that come at the top of the potato plant. Uh, normally when, uh, when we think of a potato, uh, we think of down below, down, uh, down in the roots is where the potato, the uh, vegetable that we eat and love, that's where it grows. However, uh, up at the top of the plant, sometimes you can get these fruit that are growing. So here's actually, here's a plant where you, I've actually left the fruit still attached so that you can see it. Here is the potato uh, plant. Uh, looks very similar to tomato, but I can guarantee you this is potato. Does it taste like a tomato or a potato or half and half? Well, in, interesting. You ask about what it tastes like. I don't know because I haven't tasted it because every place I've read on the internet says that the plant, the uh, tomato or potato rather, fruit is actually poisonous. Um, now we know that the leaves of potatoes and tomatoes uh, reportedly are poisonous. Uh, they're apparently in the same uh, plant family as nightshade, and nightshade is a uh, is a well-known poison. Is that blight down there? Um, that might be either a little bit of blight on the potato plant. I don't know if I can focus close enough, uh, or it might be a little leaf fungus. I'm not sure. Um, at any rate, we're late in the season, so some of the potato fruit actually came ripe. So I've plucked a couple of those. Uh, so that's potato fruit. Uh, and, and there were some flowers at the top of the potato plant, which you know, anyone who grows potatoes is familiar with. Apparently, it's not uh, all that common that potato fruit uh, appear at the top of the plant. Uh, I'm a beginner gardener, and, um, uh, but I had it on a couple of my plants this year. Um, I planted my potatoes very late in the season, uh, probably into early June. Uh, or even mid-June, uh, and I planted them in a small pot, and I never got around to moving them for a long time until the end of August. And by that time, uh, the plant was very much root-bound within the pot. There was probably only, oh, I don't know, less than an inch of, of uh, dirt left in the bottom of the pot. Um, so whether the stressful conditions uh, of my terrible gardening uh, was what prompted so many of the plants to, to, uh, to, to put fruit out You're instead of... In, instead of uh, instead of growing potatoes uh, uh, down underground, there were a couple little spuds down underground, but they were, uh, you know, actually no bigger than these uh, these little um, penny-sized uh, fruit that were growing up on the top. So that's all I have to say about potato fruit.